Imagine having the ability to look at a website and its contents without having to navigate to it on your computer, potentially affecting your computer. In this Tooler Tips Thursday video, I will introduce you to URL Scan, which essentially does just that. Scans the URL and provides you with the information that is found on a website. This is a staple tool that everybody should bookmark and become familiar with it. So URL scan can do a couple things for you. The first one is providing you with a screenshot of how a certain site looks like. This is extremely handy when you are provided with a click this link link and you wanted to see what it looks like without actually going to it on your machine. So instead use URL scan to navigate to that link for you. Secondly, this provides you information on what exists on that site. So this includes scripts, files downloaded, redirection, and many more. This is great information to have, especially if you want to do a deeper dive investigation into a sketchy link that was provided to you. So enough about me talking about it. Let's jump right into the tool. All right, now that we're on our machine, we can open up a web browser. In this case, I open up Google Chrome and then we can type in URL scan.io. Once you're on this homepage, there is multiple things that's going on right now. There's recent scans. This gets updated every 10 seconds. And these are public scans that are performed by the community. Next, what you can do is you can type in a URL to scan here. But the first thing we want is to click on options just to go through it very quickly. The visibility, you have three options. You have public, unlisted, and private. Public is anybody can see your scan. Unlisted is only paid users can see your scan. And private, only you can see your scan. The country selection, it'll be where does the traffic source from? So for example, if I were to select Japan, all of the scans that I initiate will be sourcing from Japan. The user agent, the custom user agent, and your HTTP refer, all of these are customizable. However, in this demo, the only thing I'll select is the country selection set to auto, and also I will select the visibility to private. At the top, we have home search, live API, blog, docs, pricing, and login. This site is completely free. However, there is a paid option for it if you want additional features. So we can go ahead and scan a URL. And in this example, I'll type in google.com and then hit private scan. Once URL scan is done scanning the website, we are presented with a bunch of information here. We got our summary, we got our HTTP, any redirects that exist links, behaviors, indicators. Similar is a tab that I typically use a lot. Essentially, it tells you if there's any similar sites to Google. As you can see right here, 10,000 plus hits for the same domain, 14 hits for the same IP, but different domain. So you can see that it becomes very helpful, especially if you're investigating malware incidents. So we'll go back to our summary. And then from here, we can scroll down and look at additional information as well. So we got our domain and IP information. IPs, IP detail, domains, any domains that exist on that website itself, the domain tree, links, and certs. URL scan has a verdict that can classify a website as malicious or non-malicious. In this case, there's no classification. You can also see Google safe browsing as well. No classification for google.com. It's also a really great quick win for any websites that tend to host malicious content. So we go up and click on the HTTP tab. We see all the resources that exist on Google. Click on redirects, any redirects, links, behaviors, and indicators. So again, if we were investigating malware, for example, you might have another IP that exists that you didn't see before. And then you can use that and continue to perform additional open source intelligence investigations. And hopefully it'll allow you to provide additional context and more information to help you in that investigation. Now, if we were to go up to search, this is a great way to identify additional domains or IPs or whatever you're looking for. In this case, if I were to type in google.com, this will show us all of the search results that are related to google.com. You might see that, hey, this URL does not say google.com. Why is it showing google.com? Well, if you click on it, you might be able to see that the domains are related to Google, meaning that Google is listed on this website somewhere. If you are someone trying to get started in cybersecurity, you don't have to do this alone. I want to help you with that journey, which is why I created a site called mydfir.com, which you can sign up for free mentorship, no strings attached. And this is where I'll be posting books I recommend, cybersecurity resources, and blog posts. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to.